All right, everyone. This looks like Your the finale. Shut down. Call it ethical reasons. <laughs> Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people. From you can also brew a good frappuccino out of it. Yeah. It has mm. many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable, more pliable to suggestion. So you made an army of zombies. Is that the plan? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. I like my brain the way it is. Thanks. <laughs> I don't think she meant you. Why would she mean you? Robin. You, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. Oh my god, it's a super monster. It is, look. She made a super talon. It's just Clayface for the 14th time. It's Bane. It's probably Bane. No? Bane's bald, no? Wait a minute. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? My father's mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus pit. Great. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. So he's not dead in this game then after all. They made it up. Get <clears throat> glory. Remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Sucks though. He has like no free will, right? He basically is her slave, which actually is the traditional definition of a zombie. It's someone or something that's mind controlled completely by someone else. That was the original zombie. Dead flesh eating creatures, they were just supposed to be mind control entities. It's Robin! You know me! Oh, you fucking immediately hit me with Batarang, you son of a bitch! Sorry about that, Bats! Necessary evil, Brucey boy! Just gotta spank you! Spanking the Brucey! <laughs> oh god, what am I doing? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Appeal to Bruce? How? It won't let me. Look. How the fuck do I appeal to Bruce? It, hey. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Talia's manipulating you. You have to fight through this. What are you dying, Tim? She said you died! I didn't. No? I'm right here. She mind controlled you, stupid. Whoa! Cause he's a Batman. He's on there because he can be on there. Oh, wait a minute. Am I taking damage at the Lazarus pit? I am. Oh, that's bullshit. Wait a minute. He disappeared? Oh, no! Oh, God! Fucking asshole. He's fucking me up. Batman, damn it, there's so much damage. You know, Lazarus, well, Lazarus fist, Lazarus slam, Lazarus dive, everything's a Lazarus move. Peel, peel to Bruce. You always believed in me, Bruce, even when I didn't believe in myself. Remember? No, actually, I hated you. I'm right here, Bruce. I'm not going anywhere. This is actually kind of cool because this is his latest apprentice. This would probably be the more meaningful fight out of all of them. I'm actually glad I brought Robin to this. Because he's a Batman, he gets fucked up by my bow. <laughs> oh, 
No, not the Lazarus spin kick and the Lazarus thrusting punch. Jesus H. Christ. The damage. Damn it, Bruce. Fuck them up. Bruce! Are you in there? Bruce! Bruce, can you hear me? Oh, he is still in there. I told you. It was a bait and switch. He never died. The whole premise of the oh, game is he's God. dead and he's not dead. Easy there. Wow. What's now she's pissed. Happening to me? It's a long story. There was a Lazarus pit under the Batcave. We found the Court of Owls. Your Uncle Jacob is the leader. Well, was. The court's at war with the League. And since Raish is dead, Talia took over. She's been throwing you in the pit and pulling you back out to wear you down. Wait. You found the Court of Owls. To... Wait, you guys aren't worthless shits? Shit. What? We're working so well as a team. <coughs> now you gotta fight the true final boss. No, 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 no. Don't give in. That's what she wants. This pretender pulls you away from me. Come back to me, beloved. Yes. Good. Stay away from him! Oh, come on. After all I've done, you were to be my champion, not his. Damn, beat up his ex. Call the police. <laughs> Call the police. Domestic dispute. You can't die again. Gotham's not ready. You're ready. You were always smarter than me, Robin. Wow. She's like, you know how much I spent on this final boss outfit? We're having a boss fight. I don't care about this cutscene. Just get to it. I want to fuck you up. Looks pretty expensive. Look at that thing. It's pretty elaborate. It's probably one of those custom cosplay outfits. It probably costs like $50,000. You'll make a better Gotham than I ever could. Thank you, Nefarious Axe, for Super Chat. All right. Do this real boss fight. This is a, that sword is huge. It's like a fucking soul, soul caliber sword, right? Oh shit! Already she's attacking. Come on, camera! I can't fucking see, you, idiot. Fucking cameraman is drunk. Jesus! Think she does enough damage? Hold on, what am I doing? I have a nano machine, son. Do it. By the power of nanites, I eat you. Ah, la, la, la. Eat that outfit. And now this. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Dude, the fucking damage is insane. You see how much fucking damage I just did? Yo, she can't move. She's in an infinite combo. She can't get up. Oh, shit. She can't fucking move. She's staggered and stuck in the fucking wall. What a great final boss fight this is. Wow, all the powers of all the, the fucking League of Shadows. Wow, you're a really tough adversary. Oh! <laughs> wow. She couldn't do anything. She got spanked. Why are you laughing? Uh oh, who's here now? Tim Drake. I'm about to watch a careless Robin be torn to pieces by a parliament of owls. What's with her sword? Do you see her sword spinning on the floor? Her sword's oh, glitch no. is spinning on the floor. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an Al Ghul. This is Mortal Kombat at this point. Oh, no. 
I'll swallow your souls! She turns full Sindel. What the hell is this? Now she's a flagpole. Why is she fighting Robin? The fucking what about the Court of Owls? Phase three. I'll just give up now. No matter how you try, you cannot defeat me. Fuck. You cannot outwit me. I have no healing. I can't fucking see. I'm not getting more fucking nano machines. I'm done. I have no healing. Why is the game give you no health back? A fucking three phase boss fight with no healing. That's just genius. Yeah, she's supposed to do it absolutely perfectly without healing. You will not hinder my plans any longer. Nothing you do here matters. No more. Like her forehead, she gets away. Your agony begins. See my truth. No matter what. Great. Hey. Dude, no matter, she has like a hundred attacks in a fucking row at a low frame rate that I can't really see, and the camera fucking flips all over the fucking place. Like it hit her three fucking times. Do you think she does enough damage? I don't know how I'm gonna win this. I only have three healing. The camera is absolutely terrible. She hits for insane damage, and there's no fucking openings. The most you can do is like three hits. I'm gonna do this for an hour. So dumb. I can hear I can only hear so little, I don't even get abilities. I never get my abilities. This is your last fight. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. How am I supposed to beat her? Seriously. <laughs> How am I supposed to fucking beat her? Another Robin shall fall tonight. 
She has like nearly endless attacks. Yeah, it doesn't work. Do you think maybe we're supposed to shoot her when she's in the air? Nope, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, this is completely working. A horrible fight. Am I supposed to give awesome. up? There's no point. Any Sims says try manually aiming with the trigger, it does more damage. <laughs> I'll try. This is completely stupid. She has a million fucking hits. Absolutely nothing. I did my special move, she interrupted it immediately as soon as I activated it. I'm gonna have to try the clone. Because maybe the clone she'll walk into and get damage, but the other move she just interrupted like I didn't even do it. This is a waste of wow, this is a horrible fucking fight. This is like amateur night game design. What do you want me to do? There's no parry. All I can do is mash dodge. I have no abilities to stop anything. Because they never gave you any in the game. The game is just uh, assuming like this is either Dark Souls or like Devil May Cry. Where you have all these options. You have none. Like you literally have absolutely no options to stop her attacks. Because you're, you're a fucking weakling in this slow-mo game engine. What a piece of shit. Fire, she can't move. Look, you cannot outwit me. Oh, yeah, I just did. I used the clone, the clone beater. Wow, the clone beater. Because the clone did her on fire, and she couldn't stop getting combos, she couldn't get away. They've been there the whole time. Doing nothing. Yes, is over. Now, 
Why is he talking like that? A new voice, huh? That didn't take long. Take heart. Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever. There is no time for Where I let you get the Lazarus pit. Go! No, this is not going to make you fight that many. There's something that's going to happen here. Still wearing that stupid medallion. Take this shit off. <laughs> Thank you. I can't hear you. You're talking to yourself inside this vehicle, dude. Together, you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. Oh, uh, by the way, the Court of Owls are fucking I'm up so Robin down there right now while you're talking. They're beating the shit out of him. Did you know that? <clears throat> and I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. He still didn't do anything. He's still sitting there. Do something. By the way, thank you to Furious Axe for that super chat. Doesn't kill anyone, right? He never kills people. Yes, but how many times did Rajal Ghul die like that and then come back because of the Lazarus Pit? So I don't believe that's the end of Batman. If they continue Gotham Knights, I don't know if they will. I get the feeling he'll be back. Destroyed the Lazarus Pit. Now that it's gone. The Court of Owls has mostly vanished. Without a shot at immortality, they know they're vulnerable. They'll lay low and regroup. Talia is also nowhere to be found. She's hiding somewhere and planning her next move. She left behind a small team of League assassins. I don't know if they're here to watch us or keep us busy. No, they're here for you to have Talia. side content to do in the open world post game, Both. Robin. Come on. Don't be stupid. <clears throat> I actually think it was pretty pertinent to have Robin at the end there. We found the wreckage of the Batwing. He's... He's gone. He's gone again, yes. The second time. Gotham City still needs me. The court will act like nothing happened. 
but I'm still watching. And I'll make sure they know. Bringing Jacob Kane's crimes to light was just the start. Now, we start making a series of TikTok videos that really slap. Come on, Jason Todd, do that dance. The Court of Owls is at war with the city and its people. And they're not about to stop. But they are done hiding inside Gotham's walls. Because when I find them, they'll have nowhere to hide. Oh, how much of the other three? What it is is this cutscene is different depending on who you beat the game with, right? It's always a different cutscene. I know you won't let fear control your lives. And I am giving you my word that you will never have to. outfit I was wearing, was it? Maybe this is post-game outfit for beating the game. The knighthood outfit, probably. Robin! Amazing. So depending on who you beat it with, you get a different cutscene there, but it's the same. It's probably just a different video, right? Alright, well... I finally beat it, and I can definitely say it was uh, certainly not the most flawless <laughs> experience, but it certainly wasn't a horrendous slog or a terrible grind like the reviewers said. For me, it was kind of middle of the road. Like, did I like it? Yeah, I did. Why? Because I like Batman. I like the Gotham heroes. I like the lore of Gotham City. This was a cool way to follow up on a what-if scenario style, you know, game. What happened if Batman was gone? Who would pick up the reins for him? right um i like that and if you play it like a gamer rather than a journalist and you actually go through the game balancing the content in the game <clears throat> it's actually not that bad at all i would say until that last segment with, with the man bats that's about it everything else was decent but the man bats at the end were annoying because they weren't balanced properly right but outside of that it was fun you know, get to go to some old haunts like got the uh you know arkham asylum um you know, the Batcave, um, uh, uh, Blackgate Prison, uh, the, the Penguin, the nightclub where they call the Iceberg Lounge. And you get to go to all these iconic places in Gotham City. You get to fight some really cool supervillains. I actually liked some of the supervillain side mission quest lines. I thought they were pretty fun. Um, it's something a little different, and it's refreshing instead of the Arkham formula, because definitely it didn't play like Arkham at all, right? It was more action-oriented, way less detective work and stuff like that. It wasn't that bad. I actually like there was meaningful side characters and plot lines. You know, not bad. A good, honest effort to do. Oh no. What are we? No. What is this song? I take it all back. No. No. I'm gonna take it all back in a second. Don't do this. Don't ruin your game with terrible licensed music in the credits. Please don't. Please. Is this okay? If it's just instrumental, that's okay. I thought there was going to be a terrible licensed song here. This isn't that bad. Oh! No! <laughs> choice to use a redo of the Living La Vida Loca song after this year Ricky Martin got arrested 
basically for abusing his, I think it's his cousin or something like that, and his suspected abusive relationship, where he was like in a romantic relationship with the guy or whatever, and beating the shit out of him or something like that. Some crazy, right? Like, holy shit, did they fuck up with the music they chose to be in the game. Gotham Knight. Complete case file 8. So that was a case file 8, which is weird. Because when we were fighting the man bats, that was case file 7. I guess going straight to the cemetery was case file 8. Yup. <clears throat> Couldn't even go team venture. So. Is that it? No, no. Oh, that's his knighthood outfit, huh? That's pretty good, actually. Look at that. I like that outfit. I guess we should go to the Belfry and see what everyone has to say, right? <clears throat> I'm just curious if anything new opened up on the map. Perhaps there's a, like a post-game scene or something for us to enjoy. Because <clears throat> we did all the main stuff. Yeah, there's nothing. No, no, no. Okay, let's go to the Belfry. <clears throat> let's see here. All right. Oi, oi, oi. I added new evidence to the board. Did you? So they're all here. Is there like a post game scene? Oh, wait, what's this? Look at this. has Gotham City on edge. The already collapsed estate of a new scene. If you're watching this, I'm Batman. Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? <laughs> Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? Of starvation. Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. <laughs> you promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, I'll be right up. I hate you all, just for the record. I only uh, adopted you all for the tax write offs. <laughs> I really hate you. You, especially, you fuckface. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you oh just my go? God. Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good. You're gonna need my password. Am not. <laughs> I just locked your database behind 10 levels of encryption. Now you can't make the video, dickhead. You're always looking out for me. Remember that moment, and they cherish it forever. The moment when they went and ate Subway sandwiches together as a family and vomited profusely for hours on end afterward. 0% <clears throat> real tuna in the tuna salad. Well, post-game scene, that was kind of nice, right? That was a kind of nice extra scene for beating the game. I think that's it, though. <clears throat> Nothing over here, right? Do they have a conversation, maybe? No, they just sit here we now. Almost had him back. We got a second chance to say goodbye. That's more than you get with most people. But it's not fair. What Talia did. How are you not angry about that? Oh, I'm furious at Talia for everything. 
And someday, I'll make sure she's held accountable for what she's done. But Bruce wouldn't want me to be angry right now. He'd... want me to carry on. Like he'd want all of us to. That's it? In random conversation. What's he write? Wait a minute. He's writing on the newspaper? Is he doing the crossword puzzle or just doodling on the fucking front page? I guess he's doing, they're doing a family crossword, right? <clears throat> Serious seven, good evening. Yes, we finally did. We finally beat the damn game. Is that it? I'm just seeing, is there anything additional added to the end? Or is that really it? Is that the true ending like of the game? I feel like Bruce is at peace now. Is that weird? That's probably weird. He died twice. That's not really your usual definition of that. They just do a little bit of small talk, see? Fair enough. So case files, congratulations, your investigation is complete. All case files are closed. Gotham City is safer than it's been in some time. Make sure it stays that way. You can view closed case files in the database. <clears throat> so, contact. There's still stuff to do. Look, striker. Craft a melee weapon of any rarity t two times or something. Like, what the heck? There's his bat suit. The knighthood bat suit, right? And, uh, so is that really it? That's it, huh? There's nothing else to do. Just some open world shit to do in the, in the map, and that's it. All right, let's see the city one last time, and then we'll give it a send-off, everyone. <clears throat> so, overall, I did not dislike the game as much as reviewers did. Seriously. Um, I, I thought that it was not a bad game at all. Like, were there some shortcomings? Yes, notably the graphics. These graphics, if they were actually 60 smooth frames... I think the game would have actually been much better. It would have been almost outstanding. <clears throat> Albeit, a few programming choices that were weird. Uh, like I said, near the end there, a little bit of the grindiness. Um, if you understand you're looking for more of an action game, and if you understand how to balance the content instead of just doing the same kind of missions over and over, but instead you balance it, it's not nearly as bad as the reviewer said it was. You know what I mean? Like, they were saying, oh, you're going to have to endlessly grind for hours to unlock a mission. No, you don't. Not at all. If when I started, remember, I started looking at the open map and I started looking at what was out there and I was like, okay, we'll do this red mission. We'll do one of the white little random missions. And then there's a story mission. You would do three or four missions. Next thing you know, the whole ne next leg's already unlocked. As long as you were doing variety and you weren't just sitting there like an idiot trying to do every little minuscule mission on the map in a row, the game never felt grindy. I would say until the very end when you had to do, you had to kill those multiple man bats outside of that. I never had an issue with it. Not once in the game. It's reviewers rushing to get the review out in about 48 hours from when they were given the review code. So they got to turbo through everything, and it sucks. Because that's not how the game is meant to be played. And that's not how most games in the modern era are meant to be played. You're forcing yourself to speed play a game. Not even playing it in a logical method to get it done quickly. And then it sucks. <clears throat> it's your fault. Sorry, this game's not as bad as they said it was. Are there parts that suck? Absolutely. The camera does get stuck. Gets annoying when the camera gets stuck. You can't see what's going on. Um, as you level up, it doesn't necessarily scale properly. Like you saw near the end there, some of the enemies are killing me with two hits. I didn't even understand about the leveling system of the equipment <clears throat> until the end of the game, which is kind of stupid. Um, and you can definitely tell this game was meant to be a team-based co-op game, just like Avengers. And then when Avengers tanked, they said, oh shit, we gotta change it. So they did... And they turned it into a single-player experience with some co-op co aspects. It's not a bad game. It's certainly not as polished or as <clears throat> true to the Batman lore as, say, the Arkham Trilogy. It's still a good outing. If you like Batman, if you like the Go Gotham City lore, if you like any of these heroes, you want to see them operate in their own environments and really get a chance to shine, which they never have been able to in a video game before, <clears throat> there you have it. Okay? But... If you're in it, just look for the same exact gameplay from Arkham. If you're going to nitpick every little thing, yeah, you're not going to enjoy yourself, which is what the reviewers did. So, guys, thank you. Great playthrough. Even though it took over a month for me to beat this game, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed hanging out every time that we got to play with the various different heroes, enjoying the variety of, of gameplay, switching between them. Remember that we basically just went in a circle between the heroes, and it kept the game fresh because of that. And uh, thanks to anyone who attended, who chilled, who supported it in any way. If you've been watching this on demand on YouTube, thank you for the engagement all along. I really appreciate all of that, okay, guys? So, <clears throat> the next game that we can expect in the Gotham universe, 
I guess you could say is Suicide Squad, although technically it's not really the Gotham universe. It is Rocksteady, who made the, the trilogy of Arkham games. Um, I guess we'll see how that's going to pan out. I haven't really seen much about that game as of yet. We don't have a release date or anything for it, but I guess we'll find out. Supreme God, thank you for your super chat here at the end. <clears throat> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching my Gotham Knights playthrough. I hope that you enjoyed it very much. And uh, until next time, when we return to the DC Universe for another superhero outing, I wish you well. And remember, never trust the Penguin. He's always got something up his sleeve. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you later. I'm Batman.